Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Today we're doing something I haven't done in a really long time, which is a first look at a mod, and it's something I've been waiting on for a really, really long time. Uh, this is the Amity mod. Uh, it's for sugar beets to top and then do a harvest. This is more equipment that we'd see in the United States. You know, the, the double row and triple row uh, items that come in the game are, are really, really small, uh, where these are, well, they're they're big like Americans. You know, we, we do it out here. So, a uh, little bit of background on the mod. The links will be down in the description. Please download it from there. If you see it on modhub.us, if you see it anywhere else, these guys will not get credit for it. This is from the custom modding group. This was released by Justin Gilbertson today. Please use the link that is in the description, or you can get it from their you know Facebook page, and I'll have that down there too. It, it's very important. You know, I cannot stress this enough. This is a very detailed mod, and so far in the little bit of testing that I've had to do, I I haven't found any issues out of the odd. Uh, the raise and lower is, is backwards, but that could be a mod conflict on my end. I only have a thousand and two mods and about 35 gigs. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so, where do we start first? Well, let's start with the topper, which I have uh, hooked up to the little little 8RX, you know, just looking classy with you know, the narrow tracks and everything, but that's not why we're here. So, this is the 3500, and we can find it in the beat technology. Uh, if I was in the right page, here we go. 56 grand. It's just a topper. Working speed six. Width is eight, which is pretty good, and only 150 horsepower to run. So, uh, in our Upper Mississippi River Valley playthrough, I can run this with a 4460 or 4640, whatever it is we got. Pretty cool. So, works pretty good. The model is very good you know there's some low res textures every once in a bit but honestly even if I go uh, inside the cab and look behind I can't notice it it looks really really good uh, there's nothing I can say b bad about it like at all I think it looks it looks like a product that was actually built I mean you can actually see kind of you know a little bit of texture where that edge would be welded because that's how they actually are not a lot of options at all uh, between the two uh, you can get the other one whenever we take a look at it here uh, you know as it's tracks but I just wanted to go over what the uh, the topper here looked like let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of uh, should have turn signals yep so we got left we have the right and we should have lights. There we go. Look at that. Works pretty good. PTO and everything works. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. And turn it on. Let me see. Even down below, everything's working. Do we have PTO movement? Yes, we do. PTO is moving. So, again, very, very nice. And she goes down and then up. Got a good. I actually like the slop in the hitch. If that was, <laughs> if that was intentional, just perfect. Because God, that, yeah, that that's the thing that actually happens. So, looks pretty good. So that is the Amity 3500, and we'll take a look at it one more time. What it actually looks like in the store. Again, no options on any of this. Yeah. Okay. That box is just weird. So, there you go. There's toys. And it's in the store. It looks so good. There we go. Next, on to the real meat and potatoes of the thing. The 7, 2720. Uh, this is actually the harvester. And I've been waiting for this forever. Because I like I like doing the odd crops, you know. Even though sugar beet is not odd, I, I think it's tedious. So having something like this that's not the homer or anything weird is really, really good. The texture work is extremely nice the grading and everything for uh, I want to say they're called vibrators uh, to knock all the dirt out and everything looks just so good like everything looks really really good um, 
I have no complaints, like at all. It <laughs> it's it's what the game really needs, and you know, I think that you know modders need to get a little bit more appreciation than what they get. So let's go inside. We see, you know, it doesn't look weird. Visibility's good, like it should be. Um, nothing really wrong that I can say. Okay, go ahead and give her a start here. Now, it does have that, and that is your pipe out function, so that would be up and down, just like normal. Uh, it does run, so if we turn on B, we have movement of all the gears and the pulleys and the chains and everything like that. Looks really, really good. Everything works. We go up, we go down. The world is an amazing place. And I want to say that we have a left, a right, and a little work light. Right there. Just so you can see. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. If we'll take a look here inside the store. There is one option for this. So, here we are in the store page. 125 grand. Requires 300 horsepower to run. But, hey, it's way better than... <laughs> a lot of the other stuff. I do have this tractor fully weighted. Um, that seems to be more realistic to me to have uh, a tractor that has full weights on it. So we are at full and we can go wheels or we can go tracks. So, and I believe that these are the 3D tracks. Um, they look pretty good. I don't know much about them or how they work. So, you know, we'll keep it at that. So, pretty good, pretty good. So far, uh, the only kind of odd glitch that I've seen outside of the, you know, the raising and lowering and everything was, I think it's this sticker. That sticker looks a little odd to me. And, yeah, I mean, this one looks good. But this one, not so much. And I want to say that they're actually supposed to be black. Uh, because... You know, there it is in black. So, how do they run? Okay, so there does seem to be a slight mod conflict with the 8RX for the topper, and I don't know why. So, no matter how hard I tried, I could not get it to work. But that's okay. We'll use it on this, and then we'll try it again on the, uh, on the actual harvester itself. So, everything appears to work. Uh, outside of working on the 8RX, and that could be, you know, just a, a mod conflict. You're talking about mods. And you know, it looks, looks pretty accurate. The binding box on the inside of the actual implement is the working with. So I wish it was a little bit wider, but at the same time, it feels okay. Uh, does it work with a worker? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, let's see how they handle the turnaround. Okay, so this could be one of two things. Workers do get confused with track vehicles and trying to turn around. So let's try something else. All right, so the 380 CVX coming in clutch here. Let's see if she knows how to make a turn. I think we might be good. Maybe. The turning radius is a little awkward. Yeah, it's getting lost. But I don't think... I think I, if I move the deer, I think I've got it confused. Okay, so apparently it's going to have to have a pretty wide berth to work, which is okay. So now we'll test the 2720 make sure that she can pick up. Now, I am going to leave that guy running because this is going to take a lot of space. 
I know a few of you are looking at this field going, well, why don't you leave the weeds there? Because sometimes when testing things, the weeds don't get either destroyed or picked up with the uh, with the sugar beets. So let's go ahead and un unfold this and take a look at our keys here. So we can hit B here to turn her on and we'll lower it down and we'll move forward here. Let's see if we get anything. Hey, look at that. Working pretty good. Working pretty good. Everything looks to be okay. Now, we did miss this a little bit here, so hopefully it doesn't pick these. No, it does bypass them. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it off. And get unhooked. And let's try out the 8RX and see if it works on this part. And it looks like we've got a winner. So that... That works pretty good. Alright. How does it do on a worker? Worker puts the thing down. Alright. We are already at 55% full. So hopefully we can make it to the end <laughs> before we have to turn around. But we will uh, be a good chance to see if she'll stop. So we are getting the correct signaling that it is 80% full, so that's good. Now, does it stop? Yes, it does stop, and it extends. Very nice. Now, I guess it's time to talk about the elephant in the room here. This is the uh, Custom Modding 9RX. And on it, we have a Amity Cart, but... But... It's not from the same mod producer, and it doesn't look like she's going to actually work. This is something I had not tested. Now, let me see here if I do this. Can I get that to be up higher? No, I cannot move the deal up or down. So all I'm going to do is swivel my seat. All right. Let's go ahead and just double check and make sure I'm not having a mod conflict. Okay, no. No, we cannot adjust the height of that, which is kind of a bummer because this is the only Amity cart, but it's not like the cart that, you know, you would normally use. So if we go, is it here or is it here? I want to say that we have a special trailer, but I could be... I could be mistaken. If anywhere it would be an auger? No. No, that's just it. So this is also a mod. Uh, I can't remember who makes it, but yeah, that kinda that kinda sucks, doesn't it? Because I think I can move its arm. Yeah, I can I can go a bunch of places with that. So that's kinda disappointing. That is uh that's kind of a killer, isn't it? Alright, so let's see if it'll make a turn with the, uh... With the worker here. I have my doubts. That guy's still struggling. It seems that he's lost. Now, FS-19 workers are pretty dumb as well. So I can't... I can't really vouch and say that it's the mod or the workers as he backs up in a circle. So, he's been lost now for a little bit. What normally happens is they're kind of like... They, they look for a point and then try to go to the point. And then if they can't get to it, then something like this happens. So, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy out of the way. So we don't need that anymore. What we're looking for is this guy doing a turn. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, it's rubbing the track a little bit. But. We did have a success there. And also notice this. This doesn't pertain to the mod that we're looking at today. But this is on the wrong side. <laughs> The, the card's supposed to have the auger on the right, and we have it on the left. No wonder we're having a, a hard time. 
Oh no. Okay, so another part of the test here, even though our green card is not correct, is to make sure that we can offload while we're driving and it does not stop. So that checks out pretty good. Does this actually have collisions? Oh my god, it doesn't even have collisions. Don't get this green card. If you see it, don't get it. It's, it's all a lie, guys. It's all a lie. All right, guys. I think that does it for this uh, little mod review slash look at. It looks like it works pretty good. Kind of concerned that it doesn't work with the 8RX. It's already on the mod hub. But I'll go ahead and let the mod author know. And hopefully we'll see a uh, slight revision because it could be one or the other. You know, mods conflict all the time. So it is what it is. Uh, again, please use the link that is provided down below or on their Facebook page if this is something that you want to get. And stop by and say hi to them. You might even see me there. Guys, thank you very much for watching today. And I'll see you in the next one.